ശ്രീലേഖ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ തിരുനാമത്തിന് മാത്രമുണ്ടാകട്ടെ ഭാര്യ ഭർത്താവ് കർത്താവ് എന്ന ഈ ഫാമിലി ചാറ്റ് ഷോയിലേക്ക് ഷാർജയിൽ നിന്നും എത്തിയിരിക്കുന്ന പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട സജി തോംസിനെയും റീനയെയും കർത്തൃനാമത്തിൽ സ്വാഗതം ചെയ്യുന്നു യു നോ ദിസ് എ ഫാമിലി ഷോ അബൌട്ട് ഫാമിലി റിലേഷൻഷിപ്സ് എ ലോഡ് ഓഫ് ഡിവോഴ്സസ് സെപ്പറേഷൻസ് and uh, so many turmoils are seen in family lives today so we just have this show so that uh, we can give the couples some guidelines how a christian family could be avarku oru madri aaganayittu anega kudumbangale thagarnondirikkunna avasthayile anere ver ver vinayunna avasthayile aayirikkumbol okay ingeyulla ഫാമിലി ചാറ്റ് ഷോയിലൂടെ അവർക്ക് അല്പമെങ്കിലും മാർഗനിർദ്ദേശം നൽകുവാൻ കഴിയുമെങ്കിൽ അതിനുള്ള ഒരു പരിശ്രമമാണ് നടക്കുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങളെ തന്നെ പരിചയപ്പെടുത്തിക്കൊണ്ട് നമുക്ക് ഈ ഷോ ആരംഭിക്കാം സജി തോമസ് നോർത്ത് ഇന്ത്യ ബാംഗ്ലൂർ for a better prospect yes so right now i'm working there on yeah how about you reena uh, my name is reena and i'm born and brought up in bangalore itself so i bangalore. did all my college till i did in bangalore yeah. then i worked there for a few years till i got married and i came back came to dubai with him so now we are both in working in dubai, dubai. yeah so i mean you went to dubai after marriage right yes we went i went he was here before i came after yeah. wedding yeah so how is that you started your family life how was it in your family life in a totally different person but both are from bangalore essentially right yeah both yeah. that also mm-hmm. you did you go immediately after marriage or waited for some time no actually uh, we got married and uh, he saji came first to dubai yeah. he was already here actually yeah. and uh, i got my i got came on a visit visa after 6 months after marriage so i came here in march 99 So we got married in 98 and 99 we came to the way yeah. i came to the way yeah i know both of you have been um, associated with the fellowship yes. and uh, also both of you are much interested in the work of the lord yes. right and can you give some explanations about your views about all these things when you started married life is it that that time that you came to know the lord better or even before that you had a from faith in jesus christ and uh, earning to work for him or what is it no basically brother i am from a orthodox uh, denomination orthodox church yeah, yeah. so i we just go we used to go to church come back uh, that's it nothing you have got the church going experience only yeah that's it nothing so more than yeah. that okay so that's after uh, we came into this fellowship yeah i experienced god in my life Uh, then I started learn, learned how to pray. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know how to pray itself. Yeah, you only know the printed prayers. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Ben, that you uh, didn't know how to pray. No, I didn't know how to yeah. pray. Uh, And that's after marriage you came to the fellowship, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. So, uh, so he came first to the fellowship. and when i came to bang when i came from bangalore i had decided i will not come to this fellowship because my sister was already a part of this fellowship yes so she used to tell us a lot about the fellowship i said no i will not yes. be a part of this fellowship i'm fine with my church activities yes that's how that was the main mindset so when which I was came. your church i was part i mean i'm married to orthodox but i am a patrikis oh, by uh, both the teachers yeah jacobite jacobite yeah, jacobite, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. so when the, but the first minister so my sister forced me and he was already a part of it yes so both of us came together it was a it was a saturday meeting that yeah. we first came to a fellowship in dubai and it was a totally different experience that very day i had i i just could experience the wonderful presence of god and i went back and i never turned back after that so it's been more than 22 years now right no you are 22 years in the fellowship fellowship right yes. that's great how many children have you i we've got two girls two girls yeah yeah my older daughter is uh, 21 susan yeah susan yeah. and my younger daughter is joan she's 11 year old good 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 yeah so you came to the fellowship and i mean in the very early stages of family life you came yes i mean soon after marriage maybe in a, within Beginning. a couple of years yeah. you had uh, yes. joined the fellowship how did the fellowship uh, actually enhance your 
uh, family life. Uh, did it really bring joy to your family life? And uh, so, when when we got married, uh, brother, we had a lot of expectations uh, because yeah. ours was an arranged marriage. Yes. I saw him just two weeks before my marriage, and that's how we got married. In two yeah. weeks' time, we got married. Yeah. So I didn't know much about him. He didn't know yeah. much about me. Yeah. So it's an arranged marriage. It is an arranged marriage. Right. Yeah. So uh, it's we've. I mean, we had a lot of visions about a married life. Yeah. But it all was not what we expected. Yes. God had different plans. From day one of our married life, from after I came here, we've got a lot of experiences, a lot of hardships, turmoils. But God has lifted us up through all of it. And you were always there to guide us. That's yeah. there when you came with a lot of expectations to Dubai, yes. right? Yes, yes, we came. I, I did. I did, definitely. Yeah, when you came, you had a lot of expectations. And when you came, the realities were not Never. There. Never. But there were no problems between you. No, no. Saji is a very silent man, right? <laughs> yeah. Then, in case you have some difference of opinions, how you, you know, solve it? So, uh, initially, uh, earlier on in our life, uh, since he is a quiet person. Uh, quiet person or very quiet person? Very quiet <laughs> person. Very quiet person, yes. That you can see even now, he is quiet person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I used to, like maunam is the best thing. So yeah. we, we used to keep quiet. That's for, That was in the earlier stages of our life. But actually when we grow older, we start... We get more matured. Yes. And understand start, each other better. Yeah, better. Children yeah. are growing. Growing, So yes. they interact. They interact. Yes yes, yes. yes, yes. What exactly is your experience in the fellowship, you know? You came and you were there and then... How exactly you went about? No, initially, brother, I thought uh, it's like a Pentecostal... Uh, kind yes. of a worship. Yeah. Then, uh, then I started praying and uh, when I started experiencing God in my life, uh, then, uh, then th there were so many sins which I have been struggling with during yes. those days. So many problems. Yeah, problems. Yes. Uh, so, uh, like, uh, uh, through, the, through the word of God, I learned, you know, where I gone wrong and uh, where, where I need to correct. Uh, and there were so many areas where I could correct myself and uh, become more closer to God. I remember, yeah. if I don't know if I'm right, uh, you were in Lal supermarket. Lal's, yeah. yeah. Initially. Yes, was, yes. That time you had come to the fellowship. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? I remember that, yes. So there were a lot of struggles, but you found uh, solace and comfort in the fellowship. Certainly. How's your prayer life? I mean, we've grown a lot in our prayer life, brother. From nothing, we, we, we never used to sit for a family prayer when we initially came to the fellowship, even after marriage actually. But this fellowship has taught us so much about family relation, family values, and prayer is the utmost top, top priority for us. So though I, we have more to grow and every day is a learning for us, but it's, it's the only through prayers that God has kept us in this, in today together, for all these years, that's the only thing. Because without prayer, I believe uh, we wouldn't have been together, or we wouldn't have been a part of this fellowship. Also, because your prayers, people praying for us, we have achieved a lot. It's and blessings are abundant, and it's only because of prayers, I believe. I know. And what you, what, what did you do for God? Right? I mean, God had given you a lot of uh, blessings, and you have a wonderful prayer life. I mean, could you attempt something for God? I have tried a little bit, though not too much. <laughs> uh, initially, I got a chance to work for the uh, Christian Walk Bible, and uh, that was years back uh, in 2007. Now you are staying with us, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had come to Kerala for that matter, isn't it? I, I was in, or du in Dubai. Dubai, Dubai. In Dubai, Dubai, you had come to Kerala. So I was there, but I came to stay with you for other works with the... And Kerala also had come? Uh, yes, for the museum. Yeah, museum. For the museum, museum work. For the yeah. museum. Both yeah. there. I remember yeah. you are coming yeah. and staying with us. Yeah. Yes, yes, brother. So, yeah. I mean, I got an opportunity to work for the Christian Walk Bible. Yeah. Then I even got an opportunity to work for the SEV. Yeah. Uh, and you are even a guide for the children's ministry. Yes, I am a guide for the children's you are ministry. A chil yeah, yeah. Children's children's ministry. you are a guide for the children's yes, ministry. Yes, yes, yes. 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 And uh, God also gave me an uh, opportunity to work for the TV channel. Uh, yeah. We were a member of our choir. Choir. And, uh, yeah, you sing for our choir, and uh, yeah. more than that, you support the TV channel. You are strong supporters of mm -hmm. the virtual television in that part of the country. That's what uh, Brother Bobby tells me. Right. That's great, and we are very thankful to you for your support. Oh, 
Uh, but uh, more than that, uh, you know, these are things you did. I mean, you are working for the Bible, for the translation. You have helped me a lot and all that. But more than that, could you save a soul or bring a soul to Jesus? That's the most important thing. That is something. A lot of things working for God is good. But beyond all that, could you ever, I mean, think of bringing people to the experience of Jesus? In fact, we, we, I know, we have, I have failed miserably in that. Because that is because of your maunam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. So because that guilt is there always in me, yeah. brother. You know. So you know, going and telling, uh, speaking to a person about Jesus, I have that. Uh, 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 you have got that uh, sort of uh, or fear. The, some sort of fear in fear me. Fear complex. Yeah. Now so I have found a solution for that with the lovingly <laughs> US booklet. Yes. You know, Sneha Guru. Yes. So those people who are having maunam, they can just take the book and give it to somebody. You don't have to talk. You don't yes, have to yeah. talk at all. You don't have to preach. You don't have to go to anybody. Just give it to somebody so it is reaching some house. Yes. So that is a very good tool, isn't it? Yes. Sir. You don't have to speak anything. You don't have to say, just give out a booklet and see that it is reaching their houses. So that's especially very good for people like you who are not outspoken and, you know, yeah. who are not uh, what I should get, you know that sort of uh, attitude. That's very good. But at the same time, you have been a silent worker for the fellowship there also. You have been associating with so many things. Right? Yes. Okay. How about you? Uh, I've tried my best, brother. I, I try to, I witness to everyone because the experiences that I have in this fellowship is, it, it, can, it is outnumbered my list. It can be just countless. So I have a lot of experience and I tell my colleagues and my friends though my friend circle is very small. So uh, I tell my colleagues about how God has been working and I mean they are amazed that we, we spend so much of time in church activities and uh, prayer activities and all that and going for fasting prayer. It's something that they cannot believe but uh, to bring a soul to this ministry I have never succeeded. So That's right. But are you praying for that? Yes. That's our regular yeah. our prayer. You have to attempt you see. Yes, yes. The results is given by God. We can only attempt you see. You can sow a seed, but you cannot say that it can be grown, it will sprout. Yeah, yeah. Sprouting is not our business. Yes. Our business is to only to plant, yeah. you see. Yes. And uh, what are your plans for working for God in uh, 2022? Have you made any plans? Like we should uh, put some goals so that we, could do, we should do this in 2022 for God. Yeah. You so know, have you made some plans for that? I got an opportunity to come for the fa annual fasting prayer in December. In December you came. Yeah. yeah. So the message there itself was where art thou? It's yes. God is calling upon me. Yeah. And I did make plans. I mean, I did. In my heart, I did desire to work more for the God and to bring witnesses for the Lord. And we keep keep it in our prayers regularly and every day actually. But uh, what I should do further is, I really want to work for the ministry more, to bring souls and. I need God to show me the guide me to the right person because sometimes I go at the wrong I mean at the the door is closed at the other side and I'm knocking at that door so there's no response from the other side you know so I just keep waiting and I pray you can't choose somebody and approach somebody yeah because when the saw when you were just sowing yes and some fell on the road wayside some fell on rocky ground you can't say where it falls correct but only what we can be sure of is some of it will fall on fertile ground yes. and it will give you 30, 60, and 100 fold yes. results. Yeah. That's what we have to expect. Yeah. What's your experience about the Holy Spirit? Because that's the epitome of our fasting prayer. So have you, have you had any experience or? Uh, yeah, in this fasting prayers, I have attended so many fasting yes, prayers yes. and I've experienced uh, the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, but uh, maybe after a month or something down the line, uh, gradually maybe it's my lack of prayer. Uh, you know, uh, the, the 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 power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, maybe I, I don't experience that uh, strong enough in my life. Uh, Rather, I would put it this way: you feel that power is diminishing as uh, time goes by, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. In, the, in when you attend a fasting prayer, well, you are in the presence of God. You are praising and praying. Definitely, uh, that experience is different. But to maintain that experience, you need to continue your prayer in such a way. Only then can you really keep it up. Right? 
So now you know that is lost. So but uh, so you have to pray more to see that you are in the spirit. You see, that's very important. Yeah. Yes, brother, definitely. I've attended n number of fasting prayers over the last 20, 22 years, and every prayer. I mean, maybe not initially. Later in my prayer, in my uh, in the fasting prayers, I've experienced the power of the Holy Spirit. Not only in the fasting prayer, maybe even after a meeting, after a prayer session, it it has been a. I mean, I've really experienced that spirit in my life, and and I feel God. The it's the Holy Spirit that leads me every day in my life, because uh, I know that. I am not worthy of anything, but if I see the way God leads me, it's only the power of the Holy Spirit that strengthens me every day and uh, sustains me. But having said that, uh, it's not that something that dwells in me every day. It's not the Spirit doesn't dwell in me every time. I know I, I it drains out, and uh, I need to rejuvenate myself by attending another fasting prayer. Which, in the family life, you know, we face uh, problems difficult situations. It's normal for any family life. Yes. How do you face the situations when difficult problems come up? When you find the going is tough? Yeah. How do you manage to overcome that? I think through, through prayers. I think rather more than prayers, I think we have this privilege of calling you whenever we have in a difficulty. Yeah, you call me all right. Yes, but and it's... However yeah, you call me, there should be some compromise between you. There should be some approach for you to... Oh, you mean us? You mean? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, how do you face it and how do you solve it? We normally talk to each other. We do a, we discuss before in, in any decision, any problem that comes in our life. We normally talk to each other and we try to find a solution. That, I mean, to find a solution to the problems or to overcome that because everything will not, you will not find a solution to all the problems. You can maybe overcome it through some... You don't blame each other? No, no. we don't blame each other, no. <laughs> That's a great thing, you see. Many a family life is shattered because they start blaming each other. Yeah. They would not, each one would not accept his or her own mistakes. And what in the process happens is that they try to put the responsibility of the problem into their, you know, husband or wife or... And, and in such situations, you see, it becomes difficult for a compromise. Yeah. So you don't have such problems? No, actually maybe because, brother, the first year of our wedding, yes. our marriage, he met with an accident. I know. And it was a major accident. He was he lost his job. And that was the time I think when he was at home and he was bedridden. We got to build he had some problem with the day, guys. Yeah, he had a surgery. Yeah, I had a surgery. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember that. I remember yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's when we built our relationship yeah. and we got to know each other since it was an arranged marriage and we got to know each other and this was just a So you mean to say that some accident should happen in happen. arranged marriages <laughs> yes. to know each other better? Yes. <laughs> It happened for us. Well. Yeah, so, that's and definitely a plan of yes, Almighty God, yes, maybe. Yes. And there were a lot of people who were telling that, I mean, this is not the right, you mean, because I came into the family, and he had to go through this situation, and uh, he lost his job. Everything. And there were other problems all in his life. Yes, yes. There were a lot of things. I know. But and in all that, I mean, you were patiently with him. Yes. Both, Both of him. us were yes, patient. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm not perfect at all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> at all, at all. Yeah. He's patient with me, I could say, than yeah, me with him. Yeah. That's the great thing, you see. And um, always our family life should be a role model to others, you see. And uh, only then others can understand about the Christian love what you profess. Yeah. Only then can they understand about Jesus Christ. Yeah. When the couples fight each other and start speaking about Jesus, do you think anybody yeah. will accept? No. They will not. And uh, whatever are our actions, maybe it's little or small, I mean, small or big. When we do in the name of God, God definitely takes a note of it. Yes. You have been associated with our Bible work. Yes. You are, you are a, a team member yes. of my Bible translation project and uh, Bible making project. Well, that's a great blessing, isn't it? Yes, brother. No, no doubt. No, we cannot forget no about that. No question at all. Yeah, yeah. Cannot, yeah. How about your children? Are they God-fearing? Or You know, this modern era, yes. you can't uh, keep a perfect control on them because yeah. they have got modern thinking and modern ways of yes. uh, living. Yes. And they are in Bangalore too, right? 
No, they are with us in. They are with in Sharjah. Dubai. But yeah, both the children are uh, from uh, uh, from born in Sharjah itself. Yes. So, yes, yes. but my older daughter went to Bangalore for her yes. masters. I mean, for her graduation. But yeah. they have grown up in this fellowship. So I know. They have grown so up in the fellowship. They what? know the importance of prayer and the reading the word of God, meditating on the word of God is something that they always know. And they have practiced in their life, I would say. that. Yeah, uh, I mean, many have grown up in this fellowship. But you see, when uh, children uh, reach their teenage, the attitudes change, you see. Yeah. Because yeah. of surroundings, before the friends, you see. Yeah. Uh, by God's grace, they are fine till now. They are fine till now. I yeah. wouldn't. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, no, that's a different thing. Yeah. Uh, what will happen is in God's hands. Yes, yes. But all our duty is to bring them in the fear of God. Yes, that is and my the love of God. Yes, and yes. they can never go anywhere. Hundred percent. That's yeah. what we both of us decide more than anything that they should know the will of God and do whatever they do is should be by what what God plans for them, not their own decisions, whatever it is. So. They are children who meditate on the word of God and they know about the Lord and it is not hidden from them so that they have seen that in, their, in our lives. Also. Have you got any questions about family life? How can both of us together yeah. work for the Lord? Yeah. That is something we have always lacked. I mean, other than the Bible ministry, everything, yes. both of us together, we First have... First and foremost, both of you should pray and ask the Lord to guide you in that. Because each one has a talent. Each one has a calling. And the Lord knows best where you can work and how you can work. When you sit together and how do you pray? Both of you, how, how do you pray? You do you hold together. hands we, and yeah. pray? Yes, there was a message, with brother. You had guided us yeah. to Ever hold since hands hold and hands pray. You hold hands yeah, and yeah, pray. Yeah, so, yeah. When you pray and ask the Lord to guide you, He will definitely guide you. There are, you know, actually, the gospel work is not simply preaching alone. You can spread the gospel in so many ways. You see. Now, if you could give our new booklet lovingly yours to hundred families, you decide. This year I have to give it to thousand families. But that doesn't take any money. It doesn't take any other. Uh, uh, you know, time or anything else. All what you do is you pass it on to some family. Understand me? Yeah. Or another way of do, telling you is, you just make a decision. I want to be a testimony to 100 people, 100 families. And you mark them and you pray for them and then yeah. you make your testimony. There are so many ways. You know, it all depends on how you look at things. It's not only preaching, it's not only speaking to others, but there are so many other ways where you can Spread the gospel, work for the glory of Jesus. But then when both of you pray together, definitely, it's a very formidable force before God. And you have to plan that way, but you should have a definite plan. Now that you, now that you are attending a fasting prayer, you should have a definite plan. What shall I do or what shall we do in the remaining seven months of 2022? You want to achieve something for God. You have got a plan for your daughter. Yes. You are thinking about your daughters for the education. Yes. You are anxious about her future. Yes. You do not know what exactly is be chosen for. The same way, you should have a plan for your spiritual work. You see? Yeah. A goal has to be set. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. And you have to work for that goal. And then you have to pray that the Lord helps you to achieve that goal. That's very important. So there's a definite plan for you. And when you demand, the Lord has to give you the guidance and help to reach that goal. So without having any goal, say, I want to work for God, I want to work for God. What work you can do for God? So when you have a definite strategy, well, this year I have to give 100 Bibles, or I want to uh, go to some tribes and work for some tribal Bible. We have got tribal Bibles, isn't it? In so many ways, you know, we have got so many facilities. So, when you choose a particular area and then pray for it, you will have the special grace for that particular thing. You see, for each of our actions, when we pray, God grants us a special grace. We only think of God's work by preaching or saying, no, there are hundreds of things which you can do for the glory of God. 
there may be little things unnoticed but when you pray the lord will enlighten you he will give you a plan which is more suitable for you he knows that you are not a talkative person so he will give you some guidance as to propagate his word see during the covid season we could not go out to any church the outreach was completely cut off we can't preach we can't have any public gathering in such a situation i was praying and the answer came lovingly yours made a booklet made a target you see one million home for jesus you see project one million homes has to be touched by this booklet jesus should go into one million homes and straight away we started and now in telugu they have almost completed a 35000 homes soon we are starting the english edition is going to come out by next week in new york spanish translation going on uh, the spanish translation project is going on and uh, in all those things we try with the target you know we have finished three districts in kerala itself and we want to print more and more so outsourcing is something we have to just find the source for that distributing bibles is another ministry we have got the blue bible ministry where you can give the bibles to jails and the hospitals so there are so many facilities but it's all for you to plan it's only with the plan that you can go for god so thank you very much for your wonderful time thank you brother thank you, thank you. right thank you i we pray that you become mighty testimonies for jesus christ yes, and through this fellowship yes. spread the good news to so many and let many have the experience of jesus yes we wish you well and god bless you thank you thank you thank, thank you. you very much thank you